And Taylor, to see what our work week has for us. We're going to see uh, some sunny skies. This is our 805 webcam showing you Pismo, very dark out there, some high surf. We do have some surf issues uh, over for the next couple of days. Also down into Santa Barbara County, beach hazard statement in place. So it might be sunny, but just keep in mind, waves are going to be a little bit tougher than usual. Let's go now to our highs since midnight, where we're seeing some chillier temperatures. We're in the upper 50s, low 60s, that uh, low pressure system that brought us a little bit of rain yesterday pushed in a good amount of cold air as well. So struggling to get out of the 50s once again. Our lows tonight going to get even colder than last night, especially in some of our interiors. So Paso, San Miguel in those areas. Just be sure to know that you're waking up to again a very cold morning. It's usually from around 1 a.m. to 8 a.m. that you see the coldest temperatures. Now that rain that we saw Pretty much done. We've got a little bit of action to the mountains uh, to the side of Santa Barbara County. That's going to diminish throughout the evening as well. You'll start to see these clouds pushing off the coastline. We're getting some clearing. That is going to be thanks to a high pressure system that is setting up over the region. You'll notice it just here to the left of the state. That's going to set up over the next couple of days, really peaking midweek before you can start to see another system on the horizon. That could be another rain chance for us at the end of the weekend. Around Sunday, there is about a 20% chance that San Luis Obispo County, at least, could see another about of a tenth of an inch, uh, and it'll start to diminish as it heads into Santa Barbara County, so most likely just going to be San Luis Obispo that sees this next round of rain. But in the meantime, we have some clear skies. Monday, going to be 60s by the beaches. We'll go from 60 to mid to upper 60s in the coastal valleys by Tuesday, so some warming, and that'll continue into midweek as well. The wind, I was talking about. We've got a couple of wind advisories for the mountain areas of Santa Barbara and on the coastal areas of Santa Barbara. So expect up to about 50 mile an hour gusts. This is through tomorrow afternoon. So overnight tonight, anything going on or early morning tomorrow, if you're headed out on the roads through those regions, make sure you keep in mind it's going to be a windy commute for you. Monday, daytime highs in the upper 50s to low 60s. San Luis Obispo and Paso Robles both going to be in the 30s uh, in the early morning to tomorrow. If you're by the coast in the north coast, you're going to be a little bit warmer. We'll be in the 40s to mid 40s over in the five cities, a couple of 30s in Guadalupe and Napomo, but really cold in Shandon and the California Valley Monday morning. Keep that in mind. Extra blanket tonight, Cuyama 36 in the morning, and we've got the low 60s rebounding through Santa Barbara County. We will see the 70s return by late next week. Paso Robles looking at Thursday, Santa Maria also 72 by Thursday and will stay in the low 70s before that next system brings our temperatures back down by the weekend. Claudia.